Well. Recording stopped. Oh, Bruce Pitt, that's right. There, there goes the recording. That's all right. That's all right. Bruce, I cannot hear you if you're speaking. You're muted. Just like that. There you go. I don't like the way it does that. I forgot to do that. There we go. And then I have to do that, and I have to say that, and then I have to go there, and I have to say, yeah. and he's not here yet. Dum, 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 dum. And I have yeah, to remove the spotlight. Here. Yes. All those things so you many. have to do. <laughs> In the, like five seconds after it starts. <laughs> oh, I don't All know. of those things. Okay, so. Um... People searching for Bruce. our in Cape Town. Yes. <laughs> Bruce says that he's spoken to many people and they said that they have never seen a hot air balloon in Cape Town. So uh, sure enough, I, I did a search on the internet and people are apparently looking all over for hot air balloons in Cape Town and not finding them. Except maybe these people here, they look like they might have spotted something, but I'm not, it's, they're kind of pointing lower in the sky. Well, let me maybe tell you where the hot air balloons are not. Could, they are could not be where these people are looking. Balloon, alien ship or something. Yeah, yeah, these these people on the left, they ain't never going to be a hot air balloon anywhere near where they are. That would, that would be more fun in a hot air balloon than any one person should have because the wind blows literally the way you are seeing the picture from the bottom right corner to the top left corner. And there ain't nothing further. Uh, if you leave here on the top left corner, you're heading for Brazil. Um, that's the next piece of land. So... No, you do not. Want to be. And this is they're staying on top of a mountain. This this would be a really bad place to see a hot air balloon. Really okay, bad. Well, I cannot I, imagine that ending well for anyone. I, th I think this is just supporting my original um, thesis comment when you said that no no one's seen one. I just said they just don't know where to look, and apparently they don't because they are looking <laughs> in the wrong no. places. This is I mean, very much the wrong guys place. are looking. Yes. They're looking out to sea as well, and they're on a boat. I don't know. I. Yeah, that's the problem, Bruce. Yeah. Not, they don't know where to look. But trust me, they're there. I guess. Okay. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody out there in Clarion Live land. This is the Clarion Live weekly webinar. See it and learn it and share it. This is webinar number 676. Today is September the 2nd, 2022. There's a lot of twos there. Uh, clearing date 80967. All webinars are recorded and available at clarinlive.com. Please join us on Skype. And we are live streaming at this very moment to YouTube to one person who doesn't like what they're seeing whatsoever and will not push the like button until they see something they like. So that's good. It's good to have critics. If you don't have critics, then you think everything's going great, right? And then maybe it's not. You have hosts for today's webinar. Myself, John, is here. Oh, here we go. Bruce Johnson's Yay. here. Yay! Andy Wilton, not here. No. Uh, Mike Hansen, not here, but he's always got one fan. He's got friends in high places. No matter what. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. I'm there here. He is. I just got here. I got. Oh, you just got here just in time. Well, your fan just is arrived. Here. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that he cheered, cheered for me as I entered the room. So there you oh. go. <laughs> that's what it took. Well, that's even, even that's more what it took. Excited that you made it. So that's a good deal. All right. Um, moving on. We have rules. All attendees are muted, that means we can't hear you. Type your questions into the questions box. We'll read them to the presenter. If you want to speak, we encourage you to do so. Please raise your hand and type in the question box. Finally, don't tuck your napkin into your shirt. If you are eating lobster or other messy food, you may ask for a special bib for this purpose. You know what? <laughs> just the concept of needing a bib means you're just being a little too excited about your lobster <laughs> and, and i've actually got a bit of a lo lobster story i need to share because i i in my vacation i was gone as you know a little while back and uh and gosh this is bright red here let me just deal with this there uh i, I just looked i looked like a lobster for a while there didn't i um anyway so i was out east in my vacation and out east is the maritimes and seafood galore so i thought 
I'm going to eat lots of seafood, especially lobster. And I found out once I got out there, apparently lobster season is sadly in the spring. And if you're eating lobster now, it is lobster out of a tank. And you can get lobster out of a tank in the middle of the prairies as well as you can get it down east. So uh, I had lobster once and uh, and confirmed that it was no better than the lobster I'd had in uh, plunk <laughs> in the middle of the continent, which was very irritating. Now, I also had um, uh, oysters and the oysters were fine. Perfectly good, nice, fresh oysters. Although you can get for, you know, almost, you know, the same day oysters here in London, Ontario. So no biggie there. However, mussels. I had never had fresh mussels before huh. and they were fantastic. So huh. the mussels were the star of my vacation. Other than that, eh, not worth going to the Maritimes for that. Okay. Now that was an interesting story. Mm. We didn't really get any likes on that one, but that was a good story. But the real question is, did you wear a bib? And I most steak. definitely did not wear a bib. Now my hands got a little bit dirty because you know you're, you're manhandling a lobster, smacking it into pieces and such things, and dismantling a large bug essentially. Um, so my wife, who's not a big fan of uh, seafood, and was was a little put off by my manhandling of this carcass. But other than that, um, I certainly didn't have like lobster shrapnel hitting my shirt and everything. That's just just can't imagine. <laughs> It's okay. So you didn't wear the bib is what you're saying? No, 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 no. Okay. Right. Not necessary. Anyway, for the rest of us, follow the rules. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens, Mike. I feel like we have to order lobster in Cape Town now. Do they have lobster down there? So here we don't we don't have we have the same kind of thing. It's not lobster, it's crayfish. Mm. But it is mm. expensive. No no locals can afford crayfish because mm. it's all exported. Um, uh, okay. It's a smaller than a lobster, got a slightly smaller claw, so it's not that huge lobstery thing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a smaller one. Obviously, it tastes better because you know it's, it's it's Cape Town, but um, but crayfish here is is very expensive. I've I've had it once in probably the last twenty years, something like huh. that. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's fantastic. Yeah. I love yeah. it, but um, I, I'm, I may try it while I'm there. Just now, now, is there a season for crayfish? Like, is this, you know, we're coming into spring now. So <laughs> You're maybe asking the wrong is the I've had once in 20 years. Okay. It's <laughs> not something I pay attention to. Um, yes, there's, I'm, I'm sure there's a season when people do catch crayfish. Um, but you can't get crayfish the whole year round. So, yeah, tanks and whatever. Tanks, yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely have opportunities to, to nibble on a crayfish if that's what mm. you want to do. But, um, yeah, they're very nice. So, are are there particular delicacies, food, whatever, in Cape Town, South Africa, that that need to be had there because that's the best place to have them in the world? Well, um, best place to have it in the world—that's probably a stretch. I'm not sure we quite go that far, but um, the the bra are we having Saturday night? That's a very South African hmm. thing, and cool. that'll be a yep. different kind of uh, the closest. To, people think about it as, as a barbecue cooking over an open flame mm. but barbecue is very different from one place to another place so sure. this will be this will be interesting um there are other local dishes uh most african local dishes frankly um i wouldn't i wouldn't they're, they're novelty items more than than delicacies right. but um yeah i'm sure we'll we'll you know we'll you'll have opportunity to experiment i mean some cool. stuff we consider completely normal like ostrich right. i mean you can you get ostrich. I have had ostrich. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I have had it. It's like quite beef, good. basically. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, it's basically like beef. Very, very lean beef. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you buy in the supermarkets, you get in restaurants and whatever. There's also a lot of games. So, um, hmm. Springbok could do that kind of thing you'll find on restaurant menus. Yeah, depending well, on the I, restaurant. I am a foodie, so I will be partaking of okay. whatever I there's, can find that's interesting. Definitely. There's definitely options, yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So, you've got your own bib. Uh, I right. I am capable of need eating a without a bib somehow. <laughs> I just <laughs> since, think, since I just, he was not few, two. You know, yeah, I, I just think he might have a little monogram bib that you take with you for no no no, no. You know, messy I'm, foods or something. I'm quite happy at uh, eating with a, a fair bit of diplomacy. All right, fair enough. Moving on, we have a feature presentation. Believe it or not, we do have a feature presentation today, despite all the uh, bib talk. Mark Overton will be with us today with Dex Cash Vault version 1.0-2022 pre-release. So that will be coming up shortly next week. 
uh, Bijan will be with us with the TS Plus update. And after that, look, there's nothing. And there's nothing there for a reason because there won't be anything. There won't be anything for the rest of the month. Right? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. There will be nothing. Nothing here in the normal space, anyway. A special space. Yes. yes. Uh, there'll be Schedulers. a warp in time and space. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. All the way up to be like the fifth of October. Hey, John. The next one after the ninth yeah. will be the fifth of October. I believe you are correct. Yes. Yes. So you know what? That gives you plenty of time, everybody out there, to think of a presentation that you would like to do. And even put it together. That gives you th three weeks, right? Almost a month to prepare something. And then let us know. And then we will schedule you in. And today, because Mark has volunteered to do a presentation, we're going to give him a Clarion Live Gold Star. And you can get a Clarion Live Gold Star if you volunteer to present as well. So drop us a line at clarionlive at gmail.com. And see if you can earn that gold star. We don't just hand them out like candy around here. Very special. We, we have a sound candy. effect for gold star. We, we never need, we need like, a, candy. A, a, like a metallic sounding I just, I gold just effect this. sound star. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it, we, got. We've got to have a, something unique for the gold star. I, I don't okay, know what I'll it should be. But... Yeah, yeah that, that's a good idea. I'll just... <laughs> that's a that's a good idea. Mike. Like like a I'll, sparkly uh, uh, sort of a whoosh metallic something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway, Mark gets one today, and you can have one. Yes. Too. Hello, oh, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm here. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure excited. Thank you for the star. I needed actually yeah. to fill it for the booze, <laughs> and I probably right. boosted myself so with boosted myself with too much coffee, but we'll see if I talk too fast. <laughs> It was a surprise, right? I mean, you didn't expect Yeah, that. I did not even blue, expect right? that star at all. I really do appreciate yeah. that. It's I heavy, do. isn't it? Is it? I find it's, it's quite incredible. Quite, it's got it's a, a real mass to it. Yeah, yeah it's responsible. <laughs> I, I feel a lot of responsibility now to, to really, you know, showcase this. So. I can I can list on one hand the number of people who have gold stars right now. And you're <laughs> okay. one of them. You Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's get to that presentation. Uh, CIDC 2020 Africa in 2022 is coming up quickly, very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Three quickly. weeks ago, a yeah. couple of days ago. Yeah, it's yesterday. Three weeks ago, yesterday. Three weeks to go. Yes. So, um, what do you have to do? Well, if you haven't registered and you want to attend, you should do that for sure. Uh, if you want to register for in person, you can do that still, I believe. There's still a few spaces. Open. There's still a few spaces. Okay. Yep. Empty chairs. We can, make, we can make room for a little while longer. Um, I think by the 14th, we have to have fixed everything in. So, uh, yeah, not to mention flights and whatnot. So um, if you haven't registered on to come visit us, then do so quickly yes. because uh, we need those numbers. I think we're arranging for a, a, if there's a... If it fills up in the room and it spills over, then we have a, an extra area set up outside with a large screen monitor. We don't. We don't need to worry about that. The room will the be big concept. enough. The room will be big enough. Think, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We just squash people in. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, but you can also register for the online, in which case you get twelve presentations that were already done during the pandemic, plus all brand new ones, which are going yeah. to be amazing productions yeah so I mean, on the time, presentations it's... will be all right but the production will be fantastic <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the say. cutting the panning the zooming yes. the title sequences yep. now that's all looking at i mean the value is incredible four days of sessions including two days of full training um plus there's been 12 online sessions already uh, um and for 300 bucks online so uh, it's it's numbers you're not going to see at any other conference so this is this is a good one to to sign up for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what do we got? So Andy never made it today, did he? Did he? Uh, no. No. Nope. Nope. EB right. so, EB down to pub. EB down to pub. So there was a Noyetes user group meeting and uh it was short, as I recall. So we'll move on from there. There was an open webinar and it was short. It was very short. <laughs> It was, very <laughs> it was short. we dragged we out one question and then <laughs> we gave did. up. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so we had a CIDC meeting after that, is what we did. Um, 
And then uh, there was a NetTalk user group meeting. That was not short. Not think. terribly short. Wasn't long. Not hugely long. No, no, it was a good good thing. And um, yeah, it was, it was quite a good 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 questions, good answers as always for NetTalk. I mean, you know, why wouldn't they be? Mike well, didn't come with one of his brain teasers. That was the secret. Mm. <laughs> Which Mike? There are a bunch of them. There's, they all have brain lots teasers. Of Mike's. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, and then uh, Bajan will be here next week. Now there are still no likes. Nobody is liking what they're seeing. So Mark, the burden is falling on you to get people to like what they're seeing here. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you are. By the way, so, before, uh, he, before he starts, I just did some research. Crayfish season in South Africa, November through April. And there are going to be some go. very old tank-laden <laughs> crayfish yeah. in September. So Yeah, unfortunately, oh, well. not, not good timing. Oh, well. But there's lots of other seafood. There's some really good seafood. So. Cool. Looking forward to it. I really, I really think this crayfish talk is just turning people off. I mean, no one's, no one's <laughs> liking what they're seeing at I've, all. I've seen John stretch his food. <laughs> experience and it wasn't pretty mike it wasn't pretty yeah okay let's uh, go so mark let's see uh, okay uh, that yard you got moved over so you can share your screen at any time you would like and okay then off you go all right and i think do i lose did i lose the uh, sound too again or no we can hear you we can hear you now you hear me okay and you just see uh, my presentation we can Great. we can all righty then well um thank you um uh, uh, John and, and Bruce and Mike for um, allowing me to to come here today to to show the community and show off um, the the hard work that's actually gone into Dex. <clears throat> I think uh, yeah, I've presented a few times and um, I've gotten a lot of feedback and I've listened to it um, and I delayed um, the development of the application and the introduction of it because uh, the the importance of those uh, feedback. Uh, from the community and from also uh, my son's test and use the application, they're, they're techies and IT. So um, they gave me their uh, um, candid uh, feedback on how easy it should be used and uh, the interface. And so um, <clears throat> I'm very grateful for that. Uh, so we will begin on uh, just briefly, we'll highlight the, uh, what's gonna be covered here. Um, who is Miser LLC? Um, what is Dexcash? Uh, we're gonna do some acknowledgements of of the people and the companies and technologies that uh, um, I could not uh, have done this without. So uh, we'll cover that. We'll have uh, the feature event, the demonstration, full live. Um, I actually did not touch the app today and compile and do anything to it. It's it's fresh as of yesterday. So there are a few things that I will highlight that uh, will be in um, the, the release, which uh, uh, I will be announcing a little bit later uh, in the presentation. Uh, there'll be pricing and availability and some planned things that will be coming up uh, very quickly after the introduction, and we'll have a Q&A. <clears throat> um, if there are any questions, um, I remember that was something that I failed to be able to do, respond to last time. So we could probably wait till the end would be okay. I know that any, I said any time during, but um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm kind of a newbie at the interface. So um, my apologies, and we'll answer those questions at the end. Um, so who is Miser? Um, well, Miser's me, uh, basically. Um, I've been developing applications since 1981. I started with Kobo, um, uh, an assembler, um, and uh, took a certificate class at NYU and graduated and uh, got a job, and that's where I began. I've been developing uh, with Clarion since 1986, since DOS, um, and uh, that was when I wrote my first application. Um, it was... Uh, um, a fun to do, and it was a great uh, DOS application at the time, and, and Clarion was a great tool, so I stuck with it. A development team is me, just one, but I have plus four sons who are users, testers, and supporters, and they're actually waiting for dad to stop developing and retire. <laughs> so uh, I've been doing this for a long time, um, and, and uh, they're great supporters. Plus, I have a 10-year-old granddaughter uh, who is actually a user, and, and she, her name is Scarlett, is from whom uh, the inspiration for Dex uh, became a reality. And the, the short story is uh, COVID broke out in uh, 2019. Um, she is a fourth grader, <clears throat> was destined to remain at home, but she still had to go on uh, and, uh, and do her schoolwork. And that was all on a Chromebook and a computer and uh, links and webs. And what, what they, the schools basically asked uh, 
10 year olds and any age child uh, to do is uh, to use a new device uh, that's called a computer and do something other than Minecraft on it. I mean, kids mostly just know how to play games. So um, the interface has been uh, simplified and, and I made it uh, easy enough uh, um, for even the, the youngest users. So uh, the company established in 2014, I have a couple of virtual offices. Here's some contact information for those that would like to uh, go to my website or contact the company or me directly. Um, I'm developing in on a couple of platforms, but Clarion is my primary um, development tool and will be. Um, I'm currently using and Dex is developed and compiled and running in uh, the, the latest version. Um, I do some blockchain thing uh, on the side just as something to keep my imagination uh, going. And there's some other new tools that I'm uh, experiencing uh, with that. Um, but I also see the JavaScript now that I'm getting into uh, NetTalk web apps, which I will demonstrate uh, has been integrated into Dex. Um, is something I, I really need to polish up on, and I'm, I'm, I'm just baby stepping my way into that. Um, OS platforms, Dex will run uh, very, very nicely on Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, I also have it running in a prototype, uh, which is this application you're going to see is the pre release. I do have it running under Ubuntu, um, Mac OS, and Chrome OS um, under a, a runtime emulator using the Wine uh, uh, framework. So um, the product focuses for myself and the company have been uh, an application I wrote uh, a number of years ago called Soft Claim. It's a medical claims application. It was uh, over 22 years in development and uh, a number of uh, customers that I had. And uh, um, that was, uh, was a nice time. And, and a lot of that technology um, I have and uh, I see bringing um, uh, into the future into, into DEC. So upcoming... Uh, Dex was developed over the last 16 months. Um, and uh, next up for Dex will be integration of some healthcare, some finance, accounting, social media communications. Um, definitely need to do uh, some work in the web and mobile apps using NetTalk at any screen. And the focus is going to be uh, pretty much the beginning will be API integrations. So, what is Dex Cash? Um, you know, when you see it, Dex is what you think it is and what you make of it. So um, when you'll see the application and once I start demonstrating it, um, I think it's gonna probably uh, tinker with uh, your ideas on, well, this could be used for the way I use it. So it's like, you know, you can have a, a screwdriver can be a screwdriver or it can be an ice pick and we've probably used it for both. Um, uh, I tried to make it uh, because of feedback, uh, very simple. Um, it's safe and secure, safe in that it uses a second. Uh, secure in that it uses uh, my table, uh, the encryption. Um, it's it, it took some learning, but uh, it's been implemented and it works very successfully. Um, and it's really I want to summarize it as, as a utility to organize your digital information. So it stands for Dex is uh, Dex an organized uh, location for your information, and it also is um, a distributed exchange for sharing. So what you can do with Dex is you can import. Um, your links and your favorites and, and documents and images and your 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 media, uh, but you can also distribute it to your friends and family. So you can send those links. So you can export links, and then they can import their uh, those into DAX. So I look at it as being a, a way that you could share things um, in personally and and through your business organizations. Cash, it's uh, I like the, I like that phrase because it really is a collection of items, files, stored in an encrypted, hidden or inaccessible place. Um, and you'll be able to store these because of uh, one of the uh, technologies I use, uh, uh, ProPath, will uh, initially allow you to store the data on your workstation, but you can uh, copy it and it's portable enough. There's one particular folder. You could take this folder, this vault, and copy to a USB, you can copy to your uh, server, you can copy to your cloud, and then you'll be able to run your application and point to that uh, data. So very portable, carry it around in your pocket. Um, hidden, I use blobs and the blobs. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna sip a coffee here. The blobs are, are used for imaging for just about anything. It's very fun to, to drag and drop things into them. And you'll see, um, I give a lot of space for that. Um, the data is, uh, the tables are encrypted. I use uh, all the, uh, follow the, the things that I read all about in the second documentation and learned from all of the 
uh, the webinars uh, were incredibly uh, helpful. So um, it is encrypted with my table, NetTalk, Kryptonite, and Sequin. Um, acknowledgements uh, cannot be overstated, uh, you know, um, without these companies and these individuals and these platforms, <clears throat> I would not be able to have accomplished this. So, um, of course, I'm going to give uh, uh, thanks to Soft Velocity, former uh, former Top Speed, the Clarion Live, um, the three I attended, um, and my my kudos go out to to John and Bruce and Andy. I know he's now actually been promoted to a host. So, and Mike and I like <laughs> I was going to kick out and see. No, he's not a robot, so he's a great guy. So um, I appreciate all three of you, uh, four of you, and uh, your community. Um, so in the Clarion community of developers, I'm, I'm on Skype, and I read and learn a lot from that platform. Um, some special recognitions, because um, I have invested my own time, but I invested my own money um, as a company into uh, having additional uh, help with this, a developer. So I want to especially recognize uh, <clears throat> Jim at Mitten, um, he was uh, uh, the first uh, first guy I'd spoken to about my idea. Passed it by him, and he helped me uh, with my prototype. Uh, some of the some of the very technical things. And Noantis, uh, Andy, and Wangle, um, you're going to see uh, a lot of the integration and and the look and feel of the application has now taken on a whole new whole new look. So, um, just a few great technology companies. Uh, and folks uh, whose solutions are indexed. Um, and without these uh, companies and these products, uh, um, I, I, I would not be where I am. I would not be presenting today this, this, this phone wheel product. So uh, I appreciate to, to all of you. Um, and also, you know, I couldn't list everybody. I do have a, a number of technologies built in, but uh, um, I apologize for anybody that I missed. Um, and we're going to go on to the future event. Were there any questions at all, uh, John? Mm, not at this moment. Okay, cool. So here we go. So I'm going to drag Dex over. And um, I think from those of you who have uh, viewed the application and my presentations, it started at Dex URL. It started as uh, it was palm tree it was a number of ideas and things and uh yes bruce um i'm god willing i may get to cape town i'm working diligently to try to attend that um, i will proudly <laughs> let you change my name tag every day so so that would be fun so uh anyway um i'm gonna go over the ui uh, looks like there's a lot here but uh, from the feedback that i got from my testers and my sons being primarily uh, the feedback it had to be very easy to use it had to be intuitive um had to be um obvious and they didn't want to read any documentation so um i'm going to go over the screen here and uh, those that would uh, uh, would download it and use it could then use this as a reference point so there is quite a bit here but we'll cover it and i think that it'll look uh, like it makes sense uh, when i'm finished describing it we'll start at the top and across the top is you're going to see that it's dex cache uh, 2022. It's the pre-release. It has a version number um, and who it's licensed to. So it does do licensing. In this case, it's licensed to Miser. The license version number is here. When it was issued, when it expires, uh, a type, which is temporary, the level, which is trial, and the copies and a serial number. So this is some very important information um, because it is subscription-based, whether it's free or paid for. Uh, you will get a license, and uh, I've integrated uh, the applications with uh, the CapeSoft uh, Sequin uh, the online server. So uh, licensing is going to be a breeze um, so far. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to go down the left. Uh, uh, well, these are command bars for those of you who uh, use the Noantis tools. Uh, the application is based on new uh, UIs as command bars, uh, DocuPanes, um, a flow graph and a number of other um, uh, utilities and, and templates that I use. So going down uh, the left hand corner, this would be your star and star is kind of the logo, the star hearts. These are your, your specials, things that are gonna be special to you, um, information that you wanna be able to reference quickly or you wanna uh, quickly create a list oh, or you just wanna export and you wanna share specials. So uh, this is the list. You can see the star here and across here you have the star. And this will show you that 
these are your specials. So in this case, I want to make iCloud my special. Um, it is now included in my specials, okay? And if I wanted to uninclude it in my specials, I could uninclude it. Um, there's going to be a pad view here, which we'll demonstrate shortly. Uh, this would be the, the simplest, uh, most um, easily uh, interfaced and obvious way to get you to your links. And this would be where I've designed it for even the, the uh, least experienced computer user. It does have a calendar and a scheduler. It does have a, a, the Chromium browser built in if you wanted to use that. Um, it will have uh, the vault lists, um, and the lists are based on the contents of what I call this is your vault of information. Uh, so you can see things that are special. You can see things that you want to share, or you can see all. Um, I have a built-in HTML editor, and I'll demonstrate the purpose behind that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, here we have the uh, personal web server, which is NetTalk. So it has been integrated in the application, and I will be demonstrating uh, the use of that uh, during this, uh, this session. Here you've got your, your securities and policies, your SEC 1.7. Um, here is your setup logs and some others. Here's some about, and here's where you exit the application. So this will literally close the application tab. If you were to go up to your right-hand corner, and I'm not going to do this at this time, but I just wanted to X. Here, this will close it down to your tray. So you can continue to have the application running and open and close it very quickly. Um, the version that you're looking at here today, uh, it's no different than the, the one that's going to be released, but I have not included the uh, logon um, ID and the password and, and any policies. I wanted to make it simple so that what the customer, what, what you will receive as a download will, will just be one that you can install. And you don't have to learn all that security and things yet, but it'll be... Uh, there'll be a video on how to set that up and it, and it takes literally a minute. So that's the left of toolbar. The top uh, bar is your action bar. And um, what I'm gonna do is keep dropping here. Um, it's got actions, so you're gonna be able to do things, refreshing uh, your layouts and you could filters and search in groups. And, and that's based on uh, your, your actual vault of data. Um, so you have a list button, which is your list. And then you have a button with specials. We're going to demonstrate that. Um, deposit. So what I call the dragging and dropping is, and it's because it's called, I use the word the vault because it relates to people. Uh, you're going to be able to make deposits into here by dragging and dropping anywhere along this bar. Right now, I just have a little icon here. Um, but you can drag and drop uh, your images, your media, your files, your text, whatever you like into uh, decks uh, there. Uh, there is an import uh, cache to your vault, so you can take, let's say, an HTML. If you have your, you have your Chrome browser, you have your um, uh, Edge, um, any of the browsers. I've tested them all. You can create, you can export from those um, uh, applications, create an HTML index file, and then import it into Dex. And I'll demonstrate that. Here we're using Send to, uh, which is a great uh, template set, which allows you to then send. Uh, uh, your your vault data of your choice to uh, in, in different formats, uh, whether it's Word or Excel, or spreadsheets or uh, PDFs uh, or email. Um, I've built in um, uh, editor, the syntax editor actually, because uh, I've watched a number of webinars and I and I hear uh, uh, developers uh, using that. So and I use an edit, editor myself. So demonstrate that. There's a locator, uh, and then there's your add and your change and delete. Okay, so this is, uh, there's some icons here that are important to uh, understand. So there's your specials. We went over that. So anything here has got a star and a heart is your special. And we also have a little pin, which means you're going to share this cache. So I want to share this Facebook, or let's say I wanted to share uh, this uh, particular link uh, on this supercar, uh, this Ferrari supercar that I like uh, with a friend. So uh, you'll see how those two will come out in an export file. Uh, to share with someone. So you could share what you choose to with uh, other individuals. And this icon indicates the category because there's three categories right now of, uh, of objects that you can drop into cache. Uh, one being uh, links, which are uh, URLs. The other being files. So these would be representing your links. Um, here is one that represents a file. And it actually shows you that there's going to be a file on the disk. 
So this is in your cache. And every single file you drop in still remains where it exists. Let's say it's on your desktop or on your cloud or on your server. But when it's brought into cache, it's, it's identified in a, in, a, in a little bit of a cryptic uh, way so that um, it's protected from a naming convention. But it is in your cache, in your system, and it's accessible, and I will demonstrate that. So every one of them gets a unique name. Um, scrolling down, Dex will recognize document types. So in, in this case, we're going to see an Excel spreadsheet. Um, we've got some media that we're going to demonstrate. Uh, we have some PDFs, so it makes it uh, a little more intuitive that you don't have to know too much other than what is the object uh, of the document and reference for it. Here's PowerPoint presentation, and here's a Word document, um, and here's a Visio. Um, I'm going to be working on adding additional uh, icons, um, letting you personalize those. Uh, that will be coming up uh, in a future um, uh, update. Um, so. What you're seeing on the right here is a previewer. So as I go through and I can go to this and I can see, well, here's my presentation today. You can still interact with this um, as you would a, a web page. Um, um, if you want to go to Yahoo, I've got Yahoo. I could read that. I can look at that. Um, so this is a nice little previewer. Uh, in the case of a, a spreadsheet, um, it does uh, represent uh, and bring in using um, Kojak. Um, certain documents will be recognized even though you don't have the actual application installed. So here is an Excel spreadsheet. And we'll go down to another document type. And here is a, a Word document. And you'll see this is the presentation template that I had worked on uh, earlier today. Um, I do apologize, but I want to also be honest and say this is pre-release. So there's a little glitch here that um, I've got on my, on my issues list to, to resolve. So uh, you may see a few of those things. Um, hopefully we don't see anything more severe, but there are a few of things that I need to clean up. Um, we're going to go down to a Visio document. So here's a Visio, and um, here's, here's a, 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 I think this is a Word document. So. So that kind of gives you an idea of these. And uh, I think one of the ones that I'm, I'm really happiest with, but, but took probably the most time and technology and a little more investment, uh, but um, you can actually play media. So what I'm gonna demonstrate is I've organized these and you can see that um, they can be grouped, it can be categorized and there could be a topic and how you would do that would be go to actions and groups. And you could see that I have a little tree here so I can organize uh, the information in a, in a fashion that I'd like to. So we're going to go to uh, uh, run your media. And there you have a media. So I've dragged and dropped that and placed that in here. So this is an integrated uh, media player. Um, and we're going to go to another one, which is kind of fun. This might be used by uh, companies. Uh, this is something that I got for my company when I took on uh, ADP uh, payroll. Uh, teaches me how to use the HR package. Um, and then here's a little simple uh, as the world turns. So the integration of this comes uh, uh, with the free um, uh, release of uh, the subscription. So um, it was a lot of fun having that. And that was something very important to me uh, to have in here because of uh, my granddaughter and other students and everyone in this industry or in any industry uh, is always learning something and having to go somewhere. Um, another case of uh, example might be um, looking at uh, YouTubes for um, some of uh, the webinars. So you'd be able to do that uh, directly through Dex. You can drag and drop those links and uh, visit those. And these are these are the ones that were very important to me uh, when I was learning <clears throat> when I was developing the application. So, um, uh, do we have any questions at all at this time, John? No question. Okay. But I, I have one, uh, just a quick one. Yeah, sure. Uh, I was just looking at the media playback. Yes. And I was just wondering if it could go larger. Uh, yes, that is, also, uh, that is also something that uh, will go full screen. Um, that's one of the little glitches uh, that I have right now that I haven't ironed out. But yes, this will be uh, full screen here. Um, and I'll also demonstrate that this is within the application. You can also play this media 
it will identify and pick up on whatever you have as defined player for this, as well as the, the document. So, and I'll demonstrate that. Um, and so if we actually, we can move on to, um, does that answer your question? But yeah, this yeah, is yeah, on, on my fix list. So uh, it will be, uh, it's one of the priorities because another thing that I have on here is that you want, I want to be able to do this is the, the, the ActiveX component that I've integrated um, can do just about a dozen uh, video um, media formats and also music. So uh, one thing that my son uh, is very big on with his friends, and I think all young people are, is music. And I, I enjoy music myself. So having a list that they could share and say, like, hey, check out this, or, you know, um, here's send all the links that you have to the music. Um, and then they could actually listen off of your um, your web uh, your web server. So um, we'll go to, oh, we didn't, I didn't show PDFs. So we've got uh, PDFs, the PDFs, so you can read uh, what you'd like to with uh, um, any PDF documents. Here's one, a form that I had to fill out. I'm looking to uh, bring on some employees. So um, there's some forms that I need to have. So I can, I can have all those in, in decks. Um, pictures, um, here's a nice little picture of uh, Hawaii. Um, so I've dragged and dropped that uh, to there. So the next uh, I'd like to do is to show uh, the visuals for, so we've been looking at this list and it's, it's okay for maintenance, but um, remember we've tagged all these as specials. What you can do is go to a specials view. So we can go back and forth, toggle back and forth. Okay, and you can scroll in and out too. So as you get more, uh, one of the uh, additional uh, uh, enhancements that I'm gonna have is being able to resolve a resolution a little bit nicely, uh, more nicely, uh, better. Um, um, but one thing I have integrated into it is that you can assign your own visual pictures to it too. So if I wanted to see this car, there's the car. If I wanted to go to my Twitter page, I can click it once, go to Twitter. Uh, if I wanted to go to this Clarion Live, I could go to Clarion Live. So these are referenceable uh, visually. And that was very important for my younger users um, uh, to, to be able to interact with the application. So this is called your, just your specials, okay? But from here, you can also, uh, you could change um, your, your, so if you see what you want to change and you want to do something with it. So let's say we have Bing, um, this would be your update form, and I'm going to cover that a little bit later because there is uh, quite a bit to cover there. But you'd be able to go and update your um, your your cache for that particular uh, piece of information. So we'll go back to the list, and the one that um, is going to be the most popular is the one I call the the Dex Pad View. And um, I guess way back when when I saw FlowGraph. Um, I had an idea, I saw this as being a way that uh, I could solve the problem of uh, anyone of any age uh, being able to interact with websites or documents or images or their favorite music. So I turned it into a pad. And so from here, um, we can go to Bing. It's coming up on a different screen. I'm gonna go to a, so I clicked on the book. Uh, this is, happens to be a PDF book. Um, and you could open up your documents uh, from there. I can open up Clarion. This is a demonstration of actually opening up an application because you can have uh, commands. So any command you drag and drop in there from wherever, um, and it could be a link to, to something that will run, or it could be a, um, an actual EXE uh, that you could uh, run. So. Um, that's interfaced as well. So from here, you can also drag and drop. Uh, some future enhancements you'll see, uh, this will be organized so that you may want to organize things by groupings or categories or topics. Uh, right now, this will be the first cut and the first version coming out. So that, and this is touch sensitive, of course, because in you know, Clarion was uh, handwriting recognition, so that's something. So if you've got this running on a Surface or, or any other type of tablet, um, you can just have this page up and get to what you want. So um, very, very simple user interface. So we'll go back to, um, uh, so, so there's really the three. So we've got our list view, which is more like a maintenance, um, and then specials view and your CAD view. So let's go ahead and take and do a deposit. So we've got a new, let's say a new, uh, I've got some media here. I'm gonna show, I'm just gonna take it and drag it up here to the bar. I can drag it anywhere across the bar. 
and I'm going to drop it. So this is a video, and this is a, a video of uh, uh, learning how to put on a scarlet. My granddaughter learning how to put on a mask. With her uncles. So I, I've got three here. You can see that I've organized this and kind of the tree structure that um, is in the the, uh, the actual vault list. But I'm going to call this and it'll pop up. And I'll just say this is uh, uh, um, uh, media. And I have some ideas behind these, but I need to stop adding things uh, to it. But simple way of saying I want to just add to, uh, it as a as a reference and it'll be organized by that. So we've got something simple, some tags. If I wanted to, I could say this is Scarlet. And this, this field just meta tags is whatever you'd like it to be. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and say, we're also gonna say this is a favorite. And we're gonna see it's gonna start playing. And I apologize that it is sideways, um, but uh, this was a video uh, back in 2019 uh, of her learning how to have a, a mask, uh, wearing a mask. So I dragged and dropped that. That was in my personal inventory of videos, but now it's in Dex. It still is in my little inventory folder, but if I wanted to um, take this with me and take it and show it to family somewhere, I don't have to bring my computer with me. I could put it on my, my, my jump drive or whatever, and you could run Dex from a jump drive. Um, but uh, that was a, a sample of that. So we're gonna go back and kind of work with that one a little bit. We're gonna go back here and you see a pop-up here and you've got your, right, your add, change, delete. You can unspecial something, share it, unshare it, and refresh. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna change that. And we've got some, some uh, tabs here. We'll start at the top. So this is, you got your okay. Uh, you're gonna accept the date and close. You're gonna cancel, you're gonna open. So we can open that and it's gonna go ahead and play that in a previewer as well from right here, okay? Um, we can actually do a deposit from here. If we didn't, if we had a different version of this uh, uh, object, this uh, movie in this particular case, uh, but it can be anything, the content can change if you want to update it, just drag and drop it anywhere along this bar. Um, you don't have to delete, change, insert anything, just drag and drop it. Um, and there's also uh, the editor. Uh, which is your syntax editor. So if I wanted to happen to, uh, you know, open up something and, and bring it into here, I could do that through uh, here. And it is, um, I like the webinar I saw on this and I said, I can use this and I think uh, it's possible others could too. So you can go ahead and do that. But here I might want to say, um, let's see if I go out to um, a website and I just say, um, uh, you know, wearing and fitting a mask. So I really need these instructions. So I could go ahead and I could just say, copy that and I'll put that away. And it makes it very easy that I could then add and do whatever I'd like to to that. But it um, it does uh, make it nice and convenient. This is a blob. Uh, so it's it's unlimited from my knowledge, except for the space of your disk. Um, so I give you this space here. Um, I also give another location, another area where you might want to put additional description images or other. And I also include an HTML editor um, for purposes that uh, uh, people monitor, you know, uh, doing some things with some code and things like that. Um, not your average user would use this, but um, it's on there and you can import files from there. Um, your tabs, we just kind of covered those. Here's your content. So right now uh, it does, uh, take URLs, files, and commands. Uh, this is gonna be where your cache vault content is. And you can actually just type it in there. If you had a command that you wanted to run, you could just go and type your command in. Here is gonna uh, identify whether it's a special or not. If I wanted to share this, I could share this with others. Um, here's where you get to set your own my image. So you could personalize it by going out. And I'm just gonna go to my desktop. And I do have little samples. And um, let's just say I happen to want to have these blue hills. You could use JPEGs or PNGs, and we're going to add that as an image. So we could save that. And now if we went to our, uh, we've got it as a special already. 
we went out to our specialist, we could see this is going to be the image that we want to we want to see. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back to the list, and we're going to go down to uh, where it was Scarlet. There's Scarlet learning to wear the mask. So we were working with this particular record. Actually, I'm going to go back. There is a I do not, I'm going to work on having it not started up every time or making it customizable for the user uh, to change or not. So we're going to go back in here since we've been working with this record. So I've set an image that I just happen to like blue sky. You can change this, uh, make it whatever you like, design your own. Uh, there will be over time, I'll be integrating some, uh, making sure that they're free and distributable. Some, some images standard like for Excel or Word or Google products or whatever. Um, so that's your, your, your special favorite image. Here is, you want to open the content of the file. So you can see that it is, uh, it is uh, protected. Okay, so it's a, and this is your file name. So if you wanted to, you could copy the file name and we could see it here. And there it is. Um, we can actually go ahead and we can open it. And what it's going to do is, it's going to by default go to the operating system and decide, oh, what application do I have? Uh, as a user assigned to uh, the movies or let's say the Excel, um, the Word document. So you get to look at that here. Um, here it's, uh, you have the Chromium browser. If this was a URL, it would detect it. And you have the choice of going here as a, a browser. I have a little uh, make email. So if you wanted to uh, uh, link and send some email or to a friend and send and share something, you could do it right through here. Uh, description, um, I did integrate, uh, just quickly, um, uh, we've integrated uh, the G visual, so you can see this is a required field. This is the only field it's on right now, but um, uh, uh, so we've got that. Um, if you happen to not know what you wanted or you wanted to date timestamp things, you can go out here, we could go ahead and we can actually clear the description. We can do a quick uh, um, a date time uh, stamp. We could say, uh, you know, learn mask, right? So that becomes our uh, our description. Um, I've got uh, groups. I've got categories. So you get to put whatever you like in here. Um, they are all unique. So we can go ahead and, and we can add to whatever we want for a topic as well. These are your meta tags. So um, if we had mask and we had uh, uh, learn, uh, we could add those. Uh, credentials, it would be your login ID and password for, let's say, a particular website. So this, this may be a link to a website for something that you go to often, like your bank or your, uh, your college library or whatever. But you can go ahead and use that. And uh, um, it has a login ID, which is... Uh, uh, protected, so we could go ahead and we could toggle that on and off. And it also has a password. You know, one thing I struggled with myself was, oh my gosh, um, first off, Sequin's going to make me uh, not use like 110,000 passwords for something. So I need a way to uh, have uh, passwords made for me that I don't have to think too much. So um, nicely, Chillcat has an API interface to that. So um, that has been included. So with the click of a button, you can generate a random password and there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy that. Paste that. So there's your uh, random password. Um, we could have copied it here. Um, we could paste it here. Uh, but that was one thing that I definitely wanted myself, selfishly, uh, is to have unique passwords to all my banks and all my insurance companies that I didn't have to uh, come up with, you know, Hawaii eight five seven dash dollar sign any longer or whatever it was. So uh, a nice little uh, uh, feature here for for those of us who are lazy about passwords and want unique ones made for us. Um, that covers the editability. Um, I could also still, if I wanted to, I could go out to my samples. And I could bring in, um, let's say I wanted to copy, I wanted to copy this and paste this in here. 
again, you've got your full capability to drag and drop and paste. And um, I really like that feature myself because I, I'm lazy and I, and originally I had them designed into the application. You see this big blank area, <clears throat> lots of fields and things like that, but that just doesn't work for younger users uh, and older users like myself. Um, uh, maybe for any users, just want to, this is again a blob, this is protected. <clears throat> so uh, everything in here is um, secured and that's uh, represented uh, by the little lock. I've got a little lock here, a little lock here, shows that these are using the extra encryption that I was able to take advantage of in my table. Um, and you can see that the notes are encrypted as well. So we'll uh, say, is there any questions about uh, the updating of your deposit record? I call it the vault cache deposit. So you're depositing your images, data, uh, whatever information is important to you. Um, we'll get off that. Actually, we'll go back to that. We'll just stop that. Um, we'll move on to importing. So now you've got, uh, let's say, a friend that has sent you something. So you can import into the system, and you'll be there'll be a sample that's provided on the website that you can download. So you can go ahead and import. Um, so what we're going to do is it's going to open up. We're going to go to cache. Now I have a little Chromebook one that I happened to uh, uh, create prior to the, uh, the, the presentation. So we're just going to open that. And um, what I want to do is I want to organize this because you can buy, you can import your cache, your favorites, bookmarks, files, and commands. Right now, it's only supporting URLs. It's not supporting bulk files and commands, but it will. Uh, so I want to make this something because I'm importing and I want to organize. In my actual Chrome Explorer, I have over 600 uh, things that I've gotten, bookmarks and favorites that I will be putting in here and I'll organize, but I just definitely don't want it um, to be kind of mixed in with everything. So I can go ahead and I can organize it by group. Um, you can, uh, you'll be able to organize it by content and you'll be able to actually send it to a other user ID within the system. Now, because I'm, it's a, it's a file shared um, and it's using SecOne, it has the ability to create multiple users. So if you wanted to have multiple users using your application, um, using Dex, uh, you could send files to it, to, to those users through this mechanism. Um, you can uh, tell it where you're going to get the file from, and you can purge unchanged records. So what that means is that you may have records here that are kind of stale, and you want to bring in some new ones, all those pages. Um, one of the things I've been thinking about that will uh, come about in, in a future release is that you'll have a web scraper uh, built into the application, um, that will go out and you'll say, go to these search engines and find these sites for me. And I want them loaded into DEX automatically. So, um, but you'll want to refresh what you do have. So you'd be able to purge anything. So we'll go ahead and quickly import. And you can see that it did it very rapidly. And we've go ahead and done that. And now we've imported those. Um, uh, these are what we've imported. So it kind of like lets me organize the mess I had into where I want it to be more organized. And these are all the links that it just brought in. So you see that they're all uh, very um, accessible and usable in the application. Uh, basically these were the same ones I started with just as like a brand new user would and played with myself. So that's the importing. Um, the next feature I'll cover is the send to, which I think is a fun feature. Um, I don't have the email, um, facility set up on it. So we'll just do a file and we'll say we want a PDF. Uh, we'll make sure we have a previewer and we, well, I like green bar is fun. So let's see what, uh, what we have here. And there you go. So you've got a nice little uh, Dex list of uh, your output and you can do what you like with this. So uh, nice, nice about this is it does you know, provide you with a visual representation. So whoever you're sending this to, they know where it is. Um, and you also, if you wanted to keep some kind of record, it's also great for keeping track of your your file, uh, your file uh, names and things like that. So um, a nice, very nice send to is, is, is amazing. And I think people are really gonna enjoy uh, using that feature of the application to, to share. So you'd be able to share emails or Excel spreadsheets, let's say, 
Um, yeah, it's coming up on a on an off screen that I have actually disconnected, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. But um, so so there you go with your uh, your send to um, the. The syntax editor, or just what I call the editor, is built into it here, so it's available. Uh, you have a locator, so you could locate um, uh, ob uh, records within the, the field. And you could also do that by using filters. So you could filter and say, I wanted to filter metadata with uh, blue. So you'll be able to, any of your metadata or any of the values that are not encrypted, um, are are accessible uh, by using the filtering system. And I'm kind of new at playing with it. So uh, if I look like I'm a little clumsy, I am. Um, but then there's also uh, searching. So I could turn off fil filter and I could turn on searching so that I can actually search uh, possibly for, uh, see if this works, Bruce. And there's Bruce. So nice features. Uh, simple uh, way to get to things. So uh, um, that's available for you. Um, then your add, change, and delete. So if you did have something that you wanted to add, and I'll demonstrate, uh, let's say we just wanted to, I'm just going to go to the, the Miser website, and I'm just going to drag and drop Miser in here. You can see that I've created myself uh, a, a browse, uh, a record. Um, and I can go ahead and browse it from here. So it has the Chromium browser built in. So that's demonstrable. And all the cache and everything that the Chromium Explorer 2 does and makes and puts goes under Vault. So it kind of is your place when you log onto your PC where all your stuff is. So come or go, bring it here or take it there. You All of what you, you've got is in cache. So... Um, We've got the uh, Miter. And um, let's see, we're going to, we've covered the top bar. So now we're going to go on uh, the, the left uh, command bar. So we've got the full calendar. Um, and this is also, I've, I've gone ahead and encrypted the tables on this, um, as well as the invent scheduler. So, um, you know, my decks. Next webinar. We'll go ahead and add that. Any of you that have used the Doyantis uh, calendar will see. This is also going to have integrated in a, a future update, which again, if you have the subscription, you'll get it. Uh, the ability to have the reminders working, whether it's SMS or with email, um, especially for students with classes coming up or reminders to practice music. Um, that's one thing that uh, this calendar, personal calendar, is included in the free version. So we're going to go back to our list view. Here is a little Chromium browser, again, just accessible here, so you don't have to go into the record in case uh, someone wanted to use it. Um, and there we go. There's a funny. Let me bring it back up. Okay, it does do the um, working, uh, it will determine expiration of the application. So it'll kind of warn, it'll re refresh and remind people of when uh, the, the license is expiring. So uh, here um, we have share. So I'm gonna share and demonstrate the sharing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say, well, I only wanna share my uh, items of cash that I said are shareable. So we'll go ahead and do an export. There should be two, because I've only tagged two. Okay, so we're gonna say, okay. And you can see we have a little HTML editor. Where do we find this export? I, you know, I'm new to computers, I need some way. Well, right below it is the HTML, I call it HTML editor. So it opens up and what you can do is you can load and it will go to where in the vault where your exports are located. So we can go ahead and we can open up um, our export, and there's the two that are in our vault. So also from here, you could do what you like. You could uh, uh, cut and paste this. Uh, you could take that particular file that's in this um, 
HTML, vault area, and load, we can actually go ahead and do what we want to descend from here. Future updates will make it easy for users just to send. So that might be a little work, but um, still available to the users. Um, now moving on to the the one of the, the most exciting parts about it is I did watch that I, webinar that uh, Bruce had given and John had that amazing question. Can I integrate the NetTalk into my application? So I, I don't know how many times I've watched that webinar and how much time I spent on getting it to work, but I finally got it to work. And uh, Bruce also um, did provide me with some great assistance. And he also, during one of the webinars, uh, helped me clean up some things. So we're going to go ahead and run that. This will be uh, available in as a subscription. Um, it will be the professional subscription because not everybody's going to want it. You pay a little bit more for it. Um, but when I review the pricing and subscriptions, and um, you're going to get to see that. So it's simply just open it. So we're just going to open it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go close this. There was a slight bunny on the vault server coming up. Yeah, it's not actually, uh, this is one of the funnies I'm working on. Um, it did come up and appear with the correct uh, uh, view. So this is something, um, obviously, I should have kept the previous page up, but it will, you'll be able to go to your vault and you can go to your, you'll be able to click on your sites. Um, this is a little glitch uh, that I'm going to work on and maybe bring to the, uh, uh, the Thursday webinar. But it will come with uh, um, the, the NetTalk web server. Um, here, um, not going to go over it in detail, but there is the availability to set up your policies, um, your users, your email setup access, your license. This is where you will go to get your license as a server. Um, and here, some administration things. So you can see what groups have I created. Just a few of the tables. Um, file manager. You can look at changes. What's uh, really nice about the system I like, uh, which is going to be enhanced, is it keeps track of absolutely everything by field uh, from old to new. So what was it before and what was the value after? And right now it's just keeping track of, you can see it. So, and it keeps track of who changed it and what time and date. Um, and this will also be used for a rollback recovery in case you happen to lose something and you want all the original values, um, you'll be able to see what has changed. So in these cases, I've inserted a record and the values that were changed. So uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I did that because I look at uh, the future of the healthcare industry and uh, finance and, and just about anything, even for myself as an individual, I'll delete things and I, I want the record back. You'll be able to go back and restore it. So it does archive, um, not only by records, but it archives by individual fields. So um, let's see, any questions that you see, John? I don't see any, but I had a question. Okay. On the, ex on the exporting? Yes. I was wondering if you had a way to set um, where you wanted the exports to go or if it was just kind of a hard-coded thing at the moment. Uh, you could go ahead and set that right here. So we can go ahead and copy this name and you can say like, okay, I want it to be, you know, in my documents right here or on my desktop. Yeah, you have control of doing that right now. So um, is- I, uh, I guess I was asking more like if there was a default setting. Uh, the default setting, yeah, is the default setting is the cache folder. So it's going to be in the vault. So it goes under the vault folder. So by by default, they all go here. If you happen to just click the button, but you can click right uh, here. Somewhere else, but right. You can right. click here and, and go wherever you like. Um, I'm, I'm what was the suggestion, I guess, and. A suggestion for your under your settings, you might let the user have a little more control over that because yes. it's like in a in a Chrome browser, you know, there's a downloads thing and it will let you set where you want those downloads to go. I want them to go to my C drive. I want them to go to my you know whatever. Very good. I want them to go. Yeah. So that that was just a just a thought. No, <laughs> not, no, not a major good. deal. Nothing to yeah. hold up uh, release, but yeah, just an idea. Yeah, no, very good suggestion, and uh, I'll let you know that the the next uh, update will also. Um, include a settings. So you'll have a little gear here 
uh, you'll be able to install because I will have uh, the necessity necessity to have uh, API interfaces with because the next thing that's coming out will be text messages and email. So I want you to be able to use Twilio. So you'll have I'll have the, the foundation of a file so that you as the user can go ahead and say I want my all my all my downloads or my exports to go here all the time or things like that. So uh, yes, very well, very we're very well pointed out. Thank you, Jim. Um, okay, um, I really wanted to, to see, let me see if we do it with this. I'm going to try one more thing, opening up my Chrome browser. Okay, oh, my web server is not running, so we'll start my web server. And I seem to have found some funnies with, uh, Yeah, still a little bit funny with uh, that, but anyway, because I like the colors, I like the interface uh, of the page, but that's available on uh, the website as well. So, um, but that is uh, the demonstration of the application. So um, let's move on with the uh, presentation deck. Okay, pricing. Um, I think it was John way back when that said, boy, we might have a free copy. And, you know, I think everybody likes a free copy of something, uh, because everybody wants to try it. There's maybe some hesitancy. Maybe there's just, I want to try and see if it's of any value. Actually, I think we passed a deck. How do I, uh, oh my gosh, how do I go back? Let's see. Okay. I got my production engineer son here. Um, where was that, um, or did we cover that already? Collection. Okay, no, we're on the right track. I'm sorry, I apologize. So here we are, we get a free plan, a standard plan, and a professional plan. So you can get DEX uh, free as a download. Um, and uh, you can install it on one computer, it'll have community support. Um, you can do everything that I just showed you that you can do, with the exception of, um, you won't have the advanced program security. So your sec one, you'll still be able to go on there and your data will be uh, secure and encrypted, but you won't have the feature of your login ID and password, as well as uh, you will not be able to or shouldn't, I'm not saying you won't, but put it on more than one device. So here we have our base features. You'll get your calendar event, uh, integrated media players included in the free. Um, you'll order a individual product license uh, the reason why I'm calling it an order is it's, it's it's just not because I want coffee and keep my lights on, but it does cost a little bit. So there'll be a, a minimal processing fee. Uh, and I did check out the price of a Starbucks flat white. It is three seventy five. So my favorite coffee. So I want to keep that flowing. So um, this will allow a little bit of income to come into the business to uh, get this off the ground. Um, it will not include maintenance or updates. Uh, it won't include the advanced program security or the personal web server. However, for a limited time, okay, for $50.39, um, and this is a one-year subscription. This is also a one-year subscription. It'll never expire. Uh, you can always use it for free. Uh, and you, you only pay the $375 once. Uh, for this, you'd pay $50.39. Um, you can install it. You'll be able to install it on two computers and have two concurrent users. You'll also get the free 2023 upgrade that I'll be releasing, which will save you $150. The actual price of the product will go to $150 uh, on January 1st. So um, you'll have email support directly here. Uh, you'll get a DEX cash certification. What I'm going to do is work on a little 20 uh, video DEX presentation on how you can navigate through DEX. And let's say you're a student or uh, a non-computerist and you want to use the application, but you really don't know how, just like me when I don't know how to use NetTalk or Sequin or um, different products, I go and look at a video. I'm going to uh, create a little bit of a, uh, an area that you'll get a user ID and a password because you're a paid subscriber and you'll be able to get to go and video and watch those um, and get a certificate. And you'll get uh, uh, all the free license features and you get the program security. So all your uh, Sequin. Um, value. Uh, for the professional plan, for a limited time, it's going to be $89. Um, it's a one-year subscription. You can install this on five computers. 
Um, actually, this should say five here. I apologize. Uh, so you've got this. Uh, you buy for 89, got an install up to five. You can run it on five. That means you can also run five web servers concurrently too. So if you have a family um, or some uh, a small business where you'd like to uh, have multiple copies running at the same time, place that on a server, uh, be free to do so with the professional plan. Uh, you'll get email and you'll get online support. So online uh, will be the, I have uh, a WeChat messaging. So uh, either myself or as additional uh, team members come on board, um, you'll be able to get online support we will also provide uh, the same types of great support that I received from Bruce and from Andy and from John and from others that do, you know, to team view into the application. Um, I'm going to go uh, that same route. I, I just like it and I've used it. And it's very helpful. Same cash certifications, uh, calendar events, and you get the personal uh, web server <clears throat> with this uh, with this package. Any questions on the pricing at all? Uh, I don't see any questions. I have a comment. Yes. I I like the uh, the pricing is is pretty awesome. Fifty dollars and thirty nine cents. I I very much enjoy the uh, little cents hanging out at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a numerology guy, so I like things to come up to equal eight or nine. Those are my favorite numbers. So if you add these up, they come up to eight I and nine. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm in a Costco warehouse and I'm looking for the bargains <laughs> at the end where they put the 99 or the yes. 98 or whatever. Except yeah, for the little, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the and, other comment I had was I, I honestly, I, I don't remember and I can't believe that I ever said that I would like a free version of something. That's crazy. Why would I ever even do that? Yeah. That it's, well, that it's a good, good idea to have a free plan. That just doesn't yeah, sense to me at all. It's, it's a free plan and I could still have some coffee and keep the web. So, so there is, it's free with a little fee. So I really, really. Free for three bucks, yeah. It's free for three. And, you know, I really, I want this application. You know, I'm more like, uh, all my life, people say, how much are you going to charge for that? You're going to charge a lot of money. It's, I, I just want to give it away. Like Picasso or Michelangelo, and I'm not any category of those guys. But, you know, they did some beautiful artistic things and the music. And, and, and you know, people are buying it for millions now. And they just wanted to share something. So I, I really like the free. So any kids. Uh, can get on board with this. Uh, it's running on the Chromebook very well, by the way. Uh, I did tweak it. And um, so I do have it running on the Chromebook because that's what my, my granddaughter has and all kids will get. And, um, it, it, you know, kids can't afford it. Maybe their parents will want to get, you know, they'll buy into the standard plan when, you know, there's something, you know, of value to them. But I, I just want to be able to approach schools and say, like, you know, here's something because schools have... Um, all these lists, there's, there's a dozen that she has now, links that she has to work from her computer. And the school could then purchase and distribute all the, and they could share all these links with all the students. Students go download them and import them. And they've got their links and they can go to their pad. So again, that's, you know, the IB here behind the free is, it just seems like, uh, you know, and if you really want to invest and have the updates, there's going to be some great things coming out, um, which I'll cover here. So updates coming out. The next thing um, out the shoot will be a SQL version. So um, it will. Um, I don't. I don't know. I've used SQL. Um, I've downloaded it. Um, I probably need to ask some questions on the webinar. But yes, there will be a DEX. Uh, I'm not sure how to implement it, but probably will be a separate version. Uh, but um, pricing shouldn't change too much, uh, if at all. Uh, but you'll be able to choose. So. And again, this for the purposes of companies, I do see the opportunity where companies do have uh, central hubs for the distribution. It does, you know, beautifully with NetTalk and Stack One interface with uh, uh, with uh, the active um, server, I believe it is. So uh, I look at the opportunities here for very high volume users be feeling a little more comfortable with this technology. Uh, there'll be personalized experience, so you'll be able to have a user interface enhancements like themes. Uh, John, your point ma well made about uh, where do I want to put my stuff? Um, you'll also be able to say whether when you start the application up, do I want to have my data saved on the Google Drive? Do I want to save it on the Dropbox? Do I want to save it on my USB? So I'll make that a little bit easier to do. Uh, language translation, oops, I will go back here. Language translation I had in here, um, I think 
I, I put lots in here and I had to take lots out and that it was harmful to, to my emotions, but hey, I think it made a better product and I could put them in at the right time. So I do have some of the original beta users, beta beta were from Greece. And, um, you know, I know there's just a clarion community, uh, many folks from different countries with different languages. So um, I'll be working with APIs. I want messaging and email. And I do look to incorporate the, the financial interfaces to QuickBooks and, and other things. Um, how will these come about? Um, some will just be a part of your subs subscription update, um, but some things may be a premium. So um, I've heard during the webinars where there's an SMS email, I'll probably make that a part of it. I won't make uh, individuals or companies go out and start their own things. I, I again, probably have questions on a webinar on how to do that with these sub accounts uh, for messaging, but I'll give you so many messages a month or so many emails a month. And, and if it's $4.95 and you want that extra, uh, we'll add it in there and, and you can have that. So um, that's how I'm going to handle that. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm fresh, brand new out of this. I have not really marketed in 20 years when it was easier to do before because of the complexity and all the, the means to, to buy and sell things on the internet. So uh, I'm going to work those, those out. Um, and that's it. And I, I really thank you all for attending. And uh, if there's any questions and answer questions, I'd be happy to answer it. Or if there's answers. Oh. <laughs> there's answers. <laughs> You're, you, you got the answers. <laughs> I got the, so uh, David has a question for you. I think I'm going to open David's mic because why not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see that actually. So David, are you there? Hey, oh, yeah. can you hear me? Oh, hello yeah, David. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi David. Yeah. So, so sorry if I, I, um, if you answered this question much earlier, um, I, I've, I missed the, f the first half, uh, first quarter. I, I wanted to find out, you mentioned that there's built in encryption, um, yes. in the system, yes. um, uh, your internal encryption. But uh, do you have a way for that encryption to be seeded by a user or, or a subscriber, or is it really moot? Um, the reason what I'm thinking about is what if the data base was lifted and given to another user who also has exactly the same program, will they be able to see the content of, of yours? Just wanted to make sure that that sort of sharing is um, you know, secure for the subscriber or the group of subscribers who um, are using that data set. Yes, absolutely. Um, question very well um, asked. And yes, um, um, because SecOne allows, we use, I use the, there's four passwords. Um, uh, there's three passwords that I assign. And uh, with your um, uh, subscribed version, because you'll have SecOne, um, you will be able to add your own security password to encrypt the file so that you're correct. Even I can't get to it. Um, others that may, they, oh, here, I just found this USB and I went and got Dex and I loaded it up. Um, if they were able to break the password to get into the system, they could get to the data. But yes, you will. Um, it does and it will support um, the encryption based on a fourth value uh, that you will assign or the user or the group of users or the, or the company. So yes. Oh, that's super. Thanks very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for the question, David. You're welcome. David, you're coming to CIDC, right? Indeed. Looking Indeed. forward you know, to see you there. You know who else is going to be there? Mark's going to be there. Ah. Uh, aren't you? <laughs> With aren't multiple you? names. Are you? Are you? I'm going to try. Yes, I am. I have my reservations for my hotel. I may have to um, reduce the number of days, uh, but I'm working on uh, my airline ticket. Uh, so, yeah, it's very close. I know Bruce is poking me in rightfully so uh it's it's going to be close but yeah my i'm and my sons are rooting for me and hey if i get a few subscriptions out of this <laughs> it's going to help a uh, lots of three dollars <laughs> seventy five so more but uh yeah, yeah I was, quite a few of those yeah to pay for I'll, skip, but... I'll skip the coffees and just say i'm gonna use this money for my plane ticket and for for some of the fun, the fun times that we could have down there so yeah thanks for mentioning that so sure. I noticed you on the on the who's coming list. So, yes, uh, you're you're committed to coming. I mean, you can't get off that list. Once okay, you're on okay. it, you, gotta come, you gotta go. I know. Yeah, my, and my son is here actually. He's one of my super marketing 
background guys. And he says, Dad, you're going on this. You gotta go. So it's thanks. Thanks, Sean. Where do you where will you fly from? Where you where you been? I'm coming out of Phoenix, Arizona. So I was probably I might take the there's a Newark flight or a Washington flight that's direct. Um, yeah, the Newark flight. That's the one I'm taking to. It's like a you are? Okay. flight. Yeah. I just have to work out my dates would be coming in on the 17th to the 28th, but I may come in a little bit later if I could save a few dollars. I don't know how many people are coming in how earlier or staying later, but um, I know Bruce said there was some activities on the 28th, so now I might need to change my hotel to move it out an extra few days beyond that. Um, I don't know. Maybe there'll be something fun to hear on the like, weekly webinar. Who's coming when or what What are good suggested dates to come? You know, I don't want to come too early and leave too late. I'm kind of like in the middle. Yeah, I'd like to, to be there when, you know, the most most fun can be done. So, Okay. Uh, that would be kind of nice to know when people are coming in. I know a lot yeah. of, well, we're getting there. When are we getting there? Um, Tuesday, I think. No, Monday. I get there the Monday before it starts. Which is the I don't know what it is. Nineteenth. Uh, yeah, I get there the nineteenth, but we're, we're staying for the whole week and then the next week following. And I think there's uh, a lot of people coming in that in that time frame. Okay, all oh, the week of the nineteenth. Yeah, but even earlier. I mean, I think Andy's getting there on the eighteenth. Okay. You know, yeah, so I've seen, time frame, I guess. Yeah, my what I've seen, it was almost like a day and a half to get there, but I don't, I don't know, maybe I was just reading the reservations and things wrong, but um, well, yeah, I mean, you lose a day when you, yeah, okay, so I've lost a day. So then I figured, like, if I'm leaving on the 17th, I'm gonna, am I gonna get there on the 17th? No, you get there on the 18th, if okay, you leave the 17th, you'll get there the 18th, okay. Okay. Fingers, fingers cool. crossed. He'll get, there. he'll get there. Yes, yeah, right. fingers crossed. Exactly. Yeah. So but you can always drop Bruce a Skype and ask him when a lot of people are coming in if you want. You know, okay. sure he'll, he'll, he knows a lot of when people are arriving because he's picking a few people up at the airport. He can't pick up everybody, but he's right. trying to, you know, be as accommodating as possible. So yeah, drop me. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I will. I saw that he had something new in Skype and that was fun. Um, yeah, very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I guess I'm I'm definitely coming. So, <laughs> like pressure, and I got the gold star, right? You got a gold star. I mean, you got to show that off, right? <laughs> I got to show that off. I'm gonna get that. That's right. You can lord it over everybody else. Say, hey, look what I got. Exactly. Wear it on your pocket. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, on your registration badge. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you so much, John. You bet. And uh, thank you all. Yeah. Thank you all of the community and for the webinars okay. and, and everything. So. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're, we're not Check done yet. Through. David, we'll oh. look forward to seeing you there too. Oh, cool. Thanks, David. <laughs> uh, Excellent. But John, but John has something in the chat here. He says he wants to order one. He wants to order it right now. He's ready ah, okay. Well, the ordering, yes. The lines, I'm going to be, I'm going to see, I know, I'm going to, I want the music to play. So, uh, because that is one of my son's requirements. He shares music and he wants to share links. So I'm just going to, right after the webinar, that's the, the final uh, funny that, um, I have MP4s playing now and AVIs. Uh, there'll be many more. There's like a dozen, but only those for right now. But I want to get MP3s to play, and then um, I'll post it. So you'll just be able to go to uh, – uh, let me go to my website. How do I close this down here? Um, so if we go um, – you're going to be able to go to uh, – so order your DEX license today. Uh, this page will have uh, three boxes, and uh, you'll order from there. It'll be, you know, the three, the standard or the professional, and it'll go. And um, for the free, you, it's going to work the same way. It's pretty simple, straightforward. You're going to get a uh, – it's a digital, but you're going to just get a digital kind of a document saying, thank you for your order. It's in process. Um, then I will get that. Um, I, I know it's worked for all the – previous beta users. Um, so I'll have uh, in my little uh, uh, online GoDaddy thing, um, a list of everyone, their addresses, their emails, and then I will then shoot um, the serial number and uh, a license code and you'll be good to go. And uh, 
we'll go from there and I'll, and I'll do the best to support everyone. Uh, I appreciate um, anyone that, that does try it out or buy it and, and use it and enjoy it. I um, hope it's, uh, it's, it's going to be as fun as it is for me and my granddaughter and my son. So thank you. Here, Mark, on the, uh, it looks like you've got the, the Zoom uh, panel right up there, kind of blocking. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do I get rid of you can move it out of the way. Like if you go to the bottom where it says uh, this oh. long green thing, I think it'll turn to a cross and then you can move. Oh, it. I got it. I moved it to my, oh, I've got it. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So miser.com is where you want to go. Yeah, miser.com. So yeah. I'll put that in the, I'll put that in the link for John for you. I'll okay. Clear and cool. for you. Yeah. And the website is fun. And, um, you know, if, if you weren't able to catch it, uh, there, you know, I do have a little, I figured out how to do a little Vimo uh, movie player. Um, you know, the product uh, highlights the things uh, probably a faster way than watching it, but the built-in movie player, all the base features, here's all your security, uh, security tables, a lot of things uh, coming really directly from, you know, what, what, what's the, the Capesoft documentation. Um, you know, here's your subscriptions, um, your shopping, and a little bit about contacting us so you could go ahead and WhatsApp message me. Um, this is uh, the business line number. Um, about us, it's uh, pretty much me, and you know, my mission is to uh, kind of empower and inspire <clears throat> every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more with Miser Software. So, uh, um, it's been a lot of fun, and it says software built with love, and yeah, that's that kind of sums it up for me because yeah, I do love it. So, um, and that's about it. And there will be downloads links uh, that'll be available, so I'll be posting up here. Um, my, you know, okay, here's, if you were a car enthusiast, here's some car links and here's some banking, here's some mature, some school. So, so people can have at least some place to start if they don't know how. I do have full instructions, but we'll be creating uh, videos on how to um, export from all the popular browsers and how to import. So, so when you get DEX, you not only can export your cash from DEX, you can also import again from others. So not other cash users or um, other web uh, uh, web browsers. So right. there you go. Anything else from anybody else? I think that's it. That's it. Well done. Yeah. Thank you, you so much. <laughs> 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 well done. Boy, you got all that applause and wow. gold star. How are, how are you going to sleep tonight? Yeah. It's, it's too I, much yeah. excitement. I couldn't, yeah, I could, just think I couldn't sleep last night. Uh, I definitely will have enjoyed. So thanks, John. <laughs> Thank you both too, uh, very much. Too thanks. much excitement. Yeah. All right. Um, so so it, will be, uh, it will be up uh, just, uh, I would suggest to, uh, you know, kind of check back um, um, this afternoon. Um, and uh, yeah. It'll be up there uh, uh, before tomorrow. Let me just say that. So if if the if I get the MP3 working in the next hour, then you'll see it in an hour. Uh, but but the package itself is ready. Um, everything else is in place. And uh, yeah, I'd be glad to see uh, see see some people having fun with it. All right, sounds good. All right, last call. Anybody else has a question? Uh, Chad, whatever. <laughs> oh, but John says, uh, Mark, congrats for completing this product. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. It was a short. It was a shorter year than my last fourteen-year product. Yeah. <laughs> it just seemed like we're not forever. All right. All right. Let me grab this. Do that. Okay. So uh, that's it. We're gonna wrap up. Thanks everybody uh, for attending. Have a great weekend, and we will see you all next week. Yep. Bye, Bye John. Bye, everyone. Hi there.